I, I got to be honest with you. Last week, with everything that was going on in, in, in the world, and, and Baltimore in particular, was a tough one. A lot of chaos, confusion. So I was happy to get a good weekend. And coming in today, I, I was feeling fresh. Fresh start. Yeah, I felt good. News breaking overnight from Texas. Two heavily armed men opened fire at an event featuring a cartoon contest. Both suspects are dead after being shot by police officers. So, so, so my weekend was good until... <laughs> well, listen, thank God no innocent people were killed. But, but who shoots up a cartoon contest? Granted, Ziggy's not what it used to be. But, um, <laughs> you know, and I think Garfield's been coasting for a long time. Family circus, those aren't even jokes. It's like an actual circus. It seeks to entertain, but it really just fills you with sadness. <laughs> That's... <laughs> so what kind of cartoon contest there, as if I don't know, would provoke such a violent reaction? <laughs> A group called American Freedom Defense Initiative, notorious for its anti-Islamic views, hosting this award ceremony to give more than $10,000 to the best cartoon depicting the Prophet Muhammad. Oh, see, that is... That is f***ing crazy. $10,000 to a cartoonist? That's like five years salary. That cartoonist could almost consider quitting their two other jobs <laughs> at two different cold brew coffee shops. Uh, well, that, you know, that, that's that group, a a AFDI. That's the same group that led protests against the, the so-called Ground Zero Mosque and has been plastering New York subways with anti-Islamic advertisements. AFDI is a First Amendment group the same way people from Philly are sports fans. Ostensibly, they like sports. <laughs> But really, they're just looking for an excuse to punch a stranger and pour beer on someone's baby. So, <laughs> but even so, even so, I can't believe we have to reiterate this. It is not okay to shoot other people because you are offended by what they draw. Even if they drew it to offend you, <laughs> no shooting of them. <laughs> Never okay to shoot people. Never, ever okay. Okay, well, hold on. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. John, what if I, like, really don't like them? You cannot shoot people. Uh, okay, yeah, fine. You cannot shoot people. You cannot shoot people because you don't share their opinions. You cannot shoot people even if they offend you. Uh, you what if, uh, <laughs> what if I, like, haven't shot anyone in a long time? No. Still not okay. Okay. Not even if those people specifically set out to provoke you. Responding to cartoons or words or ideas with violence is wrong. It's... But what if someone is creating a climate of hate and intolerance by appealing to people's basis fears? Because then you just gotta... No! You can't... No! No! The violence just perpetuates the fear. You can't. Thank you. Oh. You... <laughs> Aren't you gonna go back down with the rest of them, or are you just gonna... That, it's kind of crammed down there, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna hang out here, you know what I mean? Okay, uh, but like, also, John, <laughs> what if it's like deer hunting season and I really thought that that cartoon contest was like a deer, you no know what I mean? No shooting! <laughs> there is no shooting of people! There is no shooting of... I agree with you, John. We should be able to shoot people. No! I said... And Girl, I haven't seen you in like six months. When, when did you get here? I've been down here the whole time, man. And where is this pizza coming from? Are you guys having a party under my desk and you didn't even invite me? That, that's not right. Uh, more of like an impromptu thing, really. Yeah. It's... You know what? It was just like a small thing. You know? Totally small. It's a Whoa! smaller. Oh, you guys! <laughs> I'm missing out on the <laughs> on the pizza. I'm missing that pizza. <laughs> Shoot, scat, all you guys, get out of here. Right. Just go. Can't shoot people. You're not supposed to shoot people. I hope that settles it. Now, 
uh, uh, the, the question, of course, was yesterday's attack in Texas, an isolated incident, or part of a more menacing trend? Because we've been hearing about this fictionally for a while now. At least 10 ISIS fighters have been caught coming across the Mexican border in Texas. ISIS knocking on our Texas border. Oh, well, that's easy. Just don't answer. <laughs> when ISIS knocks, just shut the lights out and lie there. <laughs> but never fear, Uncle Sam's not going to let ISIS ring and run you, Texas. In fact, not only is the U.S. military conducting training ops right now for missions against ISIS-like groups, guess where they're doing them? Texas is one of seven states where the exercises will be held. In the Special Forces training operation called Jade Helm 15. Ah, Jade Helm 15. I have that issue. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, the she... <laughs> Imprisons Captain America in Jadeopolis, I think. Rest easy, Texas. Good guys with guns are on the case. Conspiracy theories are running wild tonight about the Army's plan for a multi-state training exercise this summer called Jade Helm 15. While the military says it's just training soldiers for the realities of war, critics say the Army is preparing for modern-day martial law. Some are calling it a Texas takeover. You know who's calling it a Texas takeover? Lone Star Lunatics. <laughs> Dallas did Houston assholes. Texas, there's no Texas takeover. The United States government already controls Texas. <laughs> Since like the 1840s. And then he left and he came back and just borrow a textbook from a neighboring state. It's all in there. <laughs> here's how unbelligerent. Here's how unbelligerent the US military is towards Texas. They sent a lieutenant colonel to a local Texas town hall to waste his time. All we want to do is make sure that our guys are trained for combat overseas. It is a preparation for martial law. That's because it is not a preparation for martial law, sir. That's what you say. But he really, truly wants to say. See that right there? That right there? That is the face of someone realizing they're not getting around to public comments on the planned parking lot down by Kroger's. Not today. <laughs> not in this meeting. But come on, crazy people attend local town hall meeting isn't a Texas-specific story. I think the Constitution says you can't hold a town hall meeting without crazy people. I think it's in there. <laughs> it's not like this is being taken seriously by anyone who holds actual power. On Tuesday, Governor Greg Abbott ordered the Texas State Guard to monitor military personnel movements and training exercise schedules and ensure that safety and constitutional rights of Texans were not being violated. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Yet another waste of Texas funds that could have been spent on actual threats, like your infamous chainsaw massacres. I mean, uh... <laughs> Texas, I, it's not as if I don't find it adorable that your governor thinks your state guard could take on the United States military. It's like a <laughs> little dog growling at a big dog. Or, <laughs> or an eight-year-old picking a fight with the predator. Um, <laughs> but, but enough of the fear-mongering. You know these types of exercises have been going on in Texas for years, right? You've got to have green air out here. You're going to have green ground, army ground. You're going to have air force air, navy air, all fighting jointly. It's good exercise. Yeah, in Texas. It was Operation Roving Sands. In fact, the 2001 Roving Sands operation was the largest exercise of its kind in history. But did then pre-oops Governor Rick Perry start <laughs> spreading fear about a Texas takeover? He did not. Texas was fine with the concept of widespread military operations in their state in the 2000 aughts. I don't know what's changed since then. It's, oh, right. <laughs> America elected a brutal socialist, Muslim, Kenyan, ineffective, Harvard-schooled constitutional professor, agitator, <laughs> warlock. <laughs> so Texas, it appears, it appears you're on the verge of being taken over by ISIS or the United States of America. <laughs> so you have a choice to make. And when you make it, just remind yourself, and I never thought I'd be saying this, what would Rick Perry do? 